For content flow, I needed to make a decision on how to post uh, from Airtable to social networks. Um, and I'm starting with LinkedIn. And um, I had uh, the, a couple of options. One is Buffer. There's an app uh, called Buffer. Let me, um, let me bring that up here. So Buffer, buffer.com. Um, you can post to different networks with that. Um, it's a little bit pricey once you start adding a number of social networks um yeah i don't know five bucks a month one channel see so every channel that you add with buffer um adds up and so i, I consider buffer but the thing the reason why i decided not to go ultimately with buffer is because i'm building um content flow in um let me pull that up in um yeah here we go um with airtable and n8n not make.com and buffer has a make.com module so that's makes that makes things easy it's pretty limited i think it just posts or maybe schedules and posts content um, but with n8n there is no native uh, integration with buffer and buffer um buffer api doc documentation they they um they stopped right here. The buffer API provides access. By right here, sorry, buffer no longer supports the registration of new developer apps. So I'm pretty sure that means I can't even use an HTTP request in N8N to work with buffer. I don't think so. But anyway, uh, I'm moving on from buffer. So that was one thing. So then there is the next thing uh, on my mind. What is it? Air AYR Airshare.com. Um, Airshare uh, was, is a great option, I think, and someday I'll probably uh, consider this um, once once things accelerate to higher uh, levels of, of need. Uh, but right now, like look at pricing, so they have a, a free tier, but it's pretty basic, and then it, and then it jumps up to 150 bucks a month. So <clears throat> I wasn't um, wasn't keen on that because I just I, I can't do that right now. So then mix post. Is it dot com? Mm, no. What is it? What is uh, mix post social network? Oh, it's 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 dot app, I guess, or docs. Yeah. Um, but mix post is what I uh, had decided on, and they have different pricing levels. Um, they have a free tier, and I'm trying to find like so. Back to mix post. Here we go. How do I get to their main page? Here we go. Um, so self-hosted social media management. So this is um, this is perfect. It's turning out um, great. They have different tiers of uh, pricing. They have a free version and a pro and enterprise. And I ended up going with pro because really quickly you discover with the free tier, um, you're just getting uh, <clears throat> uh, like posting to X and something else. I don't know, um, but but it is not really useful honestly the free free version so i spun up a um vm on digital ocean installed docker installed mix post and um yeah now let me see so now i've got um what is it here post mix post so i did a test post to linkedin had to set up the linkedin connection you have to make an app on whatever um, social network you want to uh, interact with. And so I had to go through kind of a procedure um, to get my LinkedIn created. Uh, I had to create an app on LinkedIn and then on their developer portal. Um, and uh, I don't know, get a token and all that kind of stuff. But once you do that, now I've got it here and I can either uh, create a post right within Mix post. Um, or let me see. Yeah, right in right within here, just like you can do with Buffer or you know on LinkedIn or whatever. Um, but the nice thing is that you know using their um, API, I can send content from Airtable to Mix Post. And not only that, with um, with Mix Post, you know you can take a piece of content in Airtable, and you know let's say I have a post section here. Um, and it's you know a, a, maybe a field drop down that says which social networks do you want to send this to you can choose multiple linkedin uh, x instagram whatever it'll take that content 
and it'll send it over to those. So I don't have that wired up yet. I just uh, last night finished kind of setting up and getting mixed post uh, up and running. Um, I even forwarded my domain to it. So, um, you know, DigitalOcean, it's going to be like 12 bucks a month, I think, for this um, VM to host um, mixed post. And then, um, and then I'll be, uh, the, my next step is I'm going to wire it up to Airtable here. And once I do, I'll make another video showing um, how I take this content over here, um, or actually the content that's in these uh, Word docs that are associated to um, these entries here, taking that and then posting it um, to LinkedIn and, and a few other places, but I'm starting with LinkedIn. That'll be first. Yeah, so I'm really excited about Mixed Post, and um, I'm, I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about it. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. I don't really... Uh, I think once I have the the kind of foundation laid, I probably won't log into Mixpost. I'll just use their API to send stuff from Airtable. That's the intention I have anyway. Um, but it is interesting that to me anyway, that Mixpost sells their solution, uh, especially enterprise. Right here it says, ideal for launching a SaaS business and managing customer subscriptions seamlessly. So that was just, I just call it out because it's something I didn't even think about with Mixpost is that, I guess some agencies uh, get the enterprise version of Mixpost and use it to set people, <clears throat> set up their clients because it, it supports different workspaces. So therefore different clients could log in and it's white labeled and, and you can put your own logo and all that um, and basically provide a means for your clients to manually use Mixpost to do, um, you know, to push content around. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm, taking it a step further with the Airtable um, as the dashboard um, I, I, because you can automate posts and link and, and sending times and that kind of thing. This does have a posting schedule and I'm not quite sure how that works because I haven't really played around with mixed posts too much and I don't intend to leverage their UI too much. But uh, I just bring it up because I just think it's interesting that one could uh, even without Airtable and N8N and all these other components, one could just get the white label version of Mixpost and go all in as an agency that provides this kind of uh, mechanism for your clients to post efficiently to multiple socials. Yeah. So stay tuned for uh, one of my upcoming videos where I show how I've actually implemented Mixpost into Airtable to push content to social networks.